Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhouse here. This here is an 18 by 12 inch print printed on 24 by 18 inch watercolor paper. This is Strathmore cold pressed watercolor paper. Um, this is the inside of a 1960s VW bus and I'm driving on the 101 from Solana Beach, California into Cardiff by the sea. As you can see here now a little bit more about that image later but i want to color this with watercolors and here are the colors i'm going to use i think i will use the, i have others on the side here i have some little bit of an idea what i want to do but i think these are the colors that i for sure want to use so what we have here is cerulean blue cobalt blue viridian sap green burnt umber scarlet mid yellow and I never know how to pronounce this. Gamboche. Anyway, so some kind of orange. Water. Palette. And three brushes, like larger and smaller. And that's all we need. So let's do this. <laughs> So let's start, I want to start with the interior of the bus, which originally was yellow orange, but I want to do it blue. Um, I think this is a good one, cerulean blue for that. So it's hard to say how much I need. So I'm going to test the colors just on the border here. I'm going to put this behind a mat anyway, so I can use that border. Let's see. I think that could work. Let's just start on this side here. As I have mentioned in earlier videos, it's the grays of the photograph that desaturate your colors and make them darker. So you don't really have to do this with um, mixing the paint. Unless, of course, there's a certain area where you do want it much darker or more desaturated than what shows in the black and white photo. So I printed this with my Epson P2000 on this watercolor paper. Let's see, I'm doing the lighter areas first and I'll do some Maybe add a little bit more paint to it and get some more saturated colors for other areas. So a little bit about the image. I wasn't really, well I was really driving on the 101, but not with the VW. So I saw this VW in Hermosa Beach when I was doing an art show there a couple of years ago and people were nice enough to let me in so i really sat behind the wheel but just parked and then i took some pictures from inside just like this all the interior that you see and that gave me the idea of doing something what you see here so then in photoshop i removed all the view from when this VW was parked and replaced it with the view that you see here driving into Cardiff which is part of Encinitas, California. I've done this with a few other images and this is one of them.
like for a few of these, it was actually my daughter who took the pictures while I was driving. So this part is really white, but just going over it. Um, yeah, let's still go with this color here. There's another image where I'm driving over one of the bridges on the California One in Big Sur. And another one also from in Encinitas where I'm driving down the hill towards um, Swami's, the self-realization center. But this is actually the first time I'm coloring this. I have not colored this in any other way yet either. So not on with oils on photo paper, for example, which is still my favorite. It's the first time I hand color this image. I'm actually doing this now because I'm working on my second edition of my Encinitas book that has all my hand colored pictures from Encinitas in it. The first edition is about to run out and since I first published it I have a lot more images including this one from Encinitas. And that first book just had oil on photo paper in it. But since then I've done much more different media, including this watercolor. Let's see, let's add some here. It's nice that watercolor is already very transparent, so it's good for this type of, of coloring. If you want to do with oils, I have some other videos where I show how you can use regular oils and make glazes with them, or you can just use like Marshall photo oils, which are dedicated paints, translucent paints to hand color black and white photos or illustrations. I think these, this generation of VW buses are so cool because you, you can see you can open the, the front windows, the windshield.
think, like I said before, the original color of this VW was like orange yellow. But of course you can color it any way you like. I like this blue. Okay, I'm doing a second layer now. In some spots. Getting a little bit more color on it. Okay. Ah, that's. I want to fill this up too. And maybe add some more blue here and there. too much. So I mounted, cold mounted this image with my laminator on a backboard. It's like a gator, gator foam. So it actually prevents it from, from warping. Although I wouldn't mind that that much because then I would float mount it anyway kind of like it when the paper's a little bit warped. But in this case, I want to put on a mat. So I, I, I wanted it to be nice and flat. Of course, I can see I changed my mind now. I'm adding more blue. Could have done that earlier. But it doesn't hurt to add that now. Maybe here, the darker areas. Okay, that's good. We'll leave this lighter. So now, let's see, what shall we do? Add some green. Take sap green. I 
get some water. It's very bright. Yeah, that's too much. Let's thin that a little. better. Put in the back here. This is a San Aleo Lagoon. Maybe I want it even lighter. Let's, let's try this. Add some water here. Pick up some paint here. Should be very light. And then we'll add that in the back here. Wiping it off a little bit with my finger. That's Swami's in the back there. Okay, let's grab some yellow and, do, and we'll do some yellow touch-ups throughout the vegetation. Still using the same brush. And then some burnt umber. Still not very strong. And now it's probably too strong. Hmm, it's not too bad actually. So let's add that here. That. I think this is also a little bit of land here. I 
like that. Okay, it's time to clean the brush. Let's grab some of that cobalt blue. Actually, no. Yes. and add that to the water. And there's also a little bit of blue in the sign here. And then the ocean. Ah, let's add some blue here too. You can see I'm going 40 miles per hour here. Again, not really. The speedometer, speedometer was actually at zero, but I also photoshopped that. Uh, let's see. Let's do the sign here first. Cleaning my brush first. So I took the viridian for that part. It's really kind of the color of the sign here. I got to touch the letters. And then mix a little bit of that with the blue we had earlier. For this top part here. Like that. Okay, my hand. So, let's take a little bit of red. Okay, that's too much already. We'll move it over to the other. We'll also use some of that burnt umber. And maybe some of this composure, whatever it is. I'll put it here. And let's see if we can get a decent flesh color.
Okay, that's too much too red. It's better. But go with that. Kind of, right? Ah, I was trying to avoid the ring, but forget about it. Just going over it. Let's take some of that gumboche, whatever it's called. And add that here. There you go. And the sign, let's see if we still have, I think I used out my spots, but let's see if we can get some red there's a little bit of red in this sign here good enough okay i'm gonna grab my bigger brush Grab that cobalt blue. And add that to the sky here. I think that will finish the piece better. It's a little too gray looking. I mean, sometimes, sometimes, a lot of times, the sky do look that way. Especially this year, we had a lot of marine layers deep into July. But this image doesn't, that just doesn't feel complete yet without a blue sky. It still looks different from the ocean and the lagoon because there was darker inks, grays in the water. Let's add some more paint to the top here. Oops, I went into a different, in the wrong color. And don't forget this side.
That's it. We're finished.